Welcome, everybody. Thanks for uh, taking the time today to spend a whole Saturday working on reimagining Butler County. I am really excited to see so many people here today who are concerned about the future of the county. We are gathered here and tasked to create and inspire practical and visionary solutions and improvements to our county and region. And that can be anything that's related to agriculture, industry, energy, tourism. It's a matter of taking what we want to make happen in the future and figuring out a way to actually make it happen. So, what can we do here in Butler County? We're really trying to invigorate this whole area. And the way that you do that is to find passionate people with good ideas. Butler County was a self-sufficient county, rich in agriculture, and it's in a heritage that we should embrace and be proud of. Within five years, they're, they're projecting that the powertrain for cars will be a, a cost parity with conventional cars. We think the future really needs to be one where we're using electricity, cleaner electricity driven by renewables to drive both transportation and heating of our homes and businesses. In some places in the country, the cheapest form of energy now is solar plus storage. There's also a perception that, oh well, clean energy is for sort of the yuppies or the suburban people, and it doesn't include blue collar jobs, when in fact, it does. Pennsylvania recently passed uh, legislation to allow for, for hemp cultivation. There were 25 counties that were given the okay to raise uh, projects of hemp. Butler County wasn't one of them. We could change that. We have so much land. We have available land. Land that is calling for use and healthy use. My nephew lives up in Minneapolis, Lake, Lake St. Croix Beach, and it's along the St. Croix River. Well, in his development, they put a beach right along the river. And I think we could do things like that to make this more of a destination place rather than just a place. Butler has great breweries, and there's one in Mars, and one in Slippery Rock, and maybe more. So a beer bus would be a great idea. If you can actually make multi-use areas, like put your commercial areas in with your residential areas, they're more accessible to the population there, and they'll actually be able to walk there and use more sustainable ways of transportation to get to those places. We have a number of trails and hiking paths, bike paths, and one of the things we talked about doing was connecting them so that you can go from the Freeport up to Moraine and the other idea put forward to go around the different parks uh, along those trails to have cafes, uh, bed and breakfast, maybe a youth and elder hostel. Any definition of ecotourism that I looked up always involved conservation or sustainability as a key factor to making sure that it's offered for years to come. Wind farms, solar farms, community energy co-ops. The concept of a municipal solar where we're focusing on putting solar on municipal owned properties. Uh, it serves as two per points of value right away. It helps reduce operating costs. It's a long-term strategy for municipalities, but it also acts as a beacon for the rest of the municipalities that solar is viable. Move towards having more gardens, more local community-based food sources and working in the schools and educating people. People my age are interested in farm to fork, seeing the process of what your food goes to. Someone came up with the idea that every high school person and college person needs to have an internship on a farm. Wouldn't Butler be a nice place for that? One of the things that I was very um, inspired about today was the word reimagine because what that elicited in me was reclaiming. With the great resources we have and assets we have comes opportunities. Restoring. Planting native species is so important. Recreation and recreation. Parks and expansion of parks. Re-energize. There are all sorts of things that we can do to use energy more efficiently. Re-educate. Really educating people about the need for diversification in agriculture. And totally rebirth our community. I want you to know that someone is paying attention and trying to move the ball with you as much as possible. And uh, so hopefully we can keep this self-sustaining energy from this room moving us forward. Come out and visit the treasures of Butler 
The things that Butler has to offer are awesome. When government, industry, nonprofits, and education team up with consumers and farmers, we can indeed reimagine Butler County agriculture. So we need to figure out how to bring all these great ideas to the people, help them understand the opportunities here for us to all move forward. Thank you.